Hi, my name is Tina Colazzo with Keller Williams Realty. Today I'm here with Cindy Fox of McLean Mortgage, and our topic today is help. I want to buy another home, but I need to rent mine. So I'm going to be asking uh, Cindy a series of questions, um, hot topics that people are talking about right now, and so they can know what their options are in order to move up into a bigger home, or even downsize if they have the current home that either has equity or is upside down. So Cindy, what options do they have if they have equity in their home, and how does it affect their ability to purchase? With equity in your house, you have options. Mm -hmm. If there's 25 to 30 percent equity, you can actually rent your house out and mm -hmm. use that rental income as an offset against your current mortgage payment, which helps to qualify for the next home. So you don't have to use the whole mortgage payment that you have right now. So that, that helps a lot. It's fantastic. Mm -hmm. that's, yeah. that's the best scenario. Well, what about if, they have, if they're upside down on their home, but they do want to buy, what, what options do they have? Well, um, the, the way that that would work right now is mm -hmm. they would have to qualify with both payments. So if, they, if their house payment right now is, is $1,000, that whole $1,000 would be considered part of their debt ratio okay. and it's 100% included. And so there's, as long as they have cash to move forward mm -hmm. they and they can afford to hold both mortgage payments, even mm -hmm. though they might rent that house payment out, they, mm -hmm. house, out, they would still have to qualify as if they do not. Okay. And, and it's, it's a possibility. I've helped several people do that. And do they have to, is there a difference between the amount of reserves that need to be in the bank? for people that do have equity in their home and those who don't? Yes, good question, and thanks for asking it. There is a reserve requirement of about six months of mm -hmm. the, the principal and interest, taxes and insurance on the home that they would be okay. leaving. And that can be covered with um, a 401k. Perfect. So there is a way to use assets that you don't have to liquidate mm -hmm. as a reserve. Awesome, awesome. And that's factored off of um, the the principal and interest payment or mm -hmm. the whole monthly payment per property? Just on the property that's being left, that, okay. would be, that would be rented out. So the benefit to that is that they don't have to sell and take a huge loss Got it. right now, which is a really big concern of a lot of people and I might be holding off. Yeah. And, then, and then just one other thing I just thought of is it allows them to maybe wait out the market mm -hmm. for maybe another year or two until the hopeful recovery takes hold. Yeah, because what I'm finding, I have quite a few clients that are in this situation. They are very close. They're upside down, but they're very close at maybe one or two years away from either breaking even or possibly seeing themselves appreciate to above where the market's at. Um, another question, that, what is the next step a buyer would take in order to proceed with this option of, um, of being able to rent their home and purchase another one? It takes a, a, just a thorough analysis of the current situation. Mm -hmm. Every single person has a, has a different scenario, has a different um, background. So it would take a phone call, mm -hmm. um, a, a, an application so that I can help analyze the, the current credit, the current level of debt, um, the current level of cash, and just see where things are. Mm -hmm. And just figure out what the next step would be from there to help them move forward. Awesome, awesome. Now, Cindy, what is the best way to contact you if they were interested in getting more information about this process or even starting the pre-approval process to buy their home? So, a couple of ways. I'll give you the easy one first. Uh, my cell phone number is 703-409-2002. Um, the email is, uh, well, you know, maybe another way, the easier way is the website, which is cindyafox.net. And you'll see my, my email there, mm -hmm. and the application online is there, so that's a little bit easy. That's an easy way of contacting me. Fantastic. And if you want overall information about what's going on in the real estate market, or even have any additional questions, or want to even move forward with buying a home, you can reach me at 703-679-1734. Again, I'm Tina Colazzo with Keller Williams Realty, and my email is tina at colazzo.com realtygroup.com. Thank you.